I am so excited because I finally get to show you my mama's favorite RV. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, standing inside the Gray Wolf by Cherokee 29TE. This is a 36 foot, eight inch, 6,500 pound dry bunkhouse unit. And it is my mom and dad's favorite RV. So let me tell you a little story about my mom and dad, or as my son calls them, Nana and Pop. My dad worked for years as an engineer and a plant manager, worked very hard, but they have kids in separate states. So now that he's retired, they want to go see the kids, they want to go see the grandkids, but more importantly, they want to be able to have a place for them to stay when the kids and grandkids come visit uh, and not mess anything up in the house. Because heaven forbid we do anything to the Naga hide, which is covered in plastic. And my dad snores. So it was very important for them to have a separate bedroom like we have here with the primary of the 29 te it's up in the front you got a queen size bed nestled here in the front cap and my mom liked this area because it has access to the bathroom it's walk around plus there's an entry point and i'll show you that here in, the, in a second but she also really liked the colors that were in here got the reading lights there you got the storage up here with the European style poles. Uh, and she really liked how they had the separate wards. My dad has his stuff and my mom has her stuff. Uh, there's also space for the CPAP machine. There's a surge protector over here on this side, on the campsite. So whenever they're plugging in their cell phones or the kids have their laptops or tablets plugged in, it's not gonna ruin them. Now also over there on the off camp side is going to be the USB in the 110. There's also a little driven speaker that comes in here. They don't really use that as much, but uh, my, my son does whenever they come and visit because he'll take it and play his music or play his videos uh, streaming YouTube and stuff like that uh, on the speaker or plug his headphones in. Uh, they, they like how they have the windows. The TV is right here on the wall because my dad didn't like turning his head and watching TV on the side. So having it there, they like that. But the pass-through bathroom, they really liked this space because being passed through the separation of space, my dad snores it's pretty loud, but he can't reach where everybody else is sleeping. But they got the big neo-angled shower right here, which when you're in a neo-angled shower, you get a little bit more movement space because of how it's angled. And the skylight, my dad is over six feet too, so he does have enough headroom here. Uh, they got the shower nozzles, it's decorative. So my mom, she really found that appealing. Plus the high rise bowl, they got plenty of room. They're not cramped. My dad likes to break out the newspaper. You know how they do. Uh, and storage under the angled vanity here with oversized sink as well as mirrored medicine cabinet. Plus at home, they get hot water pretty quick. So having the tankless water heater here was a really nice feature to them. The vent and fan, which is a max fan, moves about a foot of air per second. Not only helps with the heat, but also helps with all that steam coming from the shower. But the biggest feature they liked about this one, come on in, right? So my dad loves to fish. And whenever he goes somewhere, he loves taking the grandkids fishing, but they usually get pretty dirty. So having the separate access point here allows them to come in and get cleaned up so my mom doesn't yell at him for tracking crap throughout the RV, just like the Naga hide couches. Whew, let me tell you, all the times I spilt my jug juice boxes, whew, all it did was get my pants dirty because it was covered in plastic. Large window here for some additional light. And then right here, the 29 TE was great because I told them uh, one thing they love to do is entertain. So my mom loves to do crafts with the grandkids while my dad goes fishing. So uh, if it's the girls, the boys, whatever, while one's out doing the other thing, the other can be in here entertaining and spending time with the kids or the grandkids. So they really like that. The angled entertainment center with the paw mount means they only had to buy one TV because this allows you to move the TV inside or out or even you know wherever this mount is, so that was very nice, as well as the cable connection. And then when it's just them and they want to go somewhere, they don't have to worry about plane tickets, hotels, all of that. They got their space, their home away from home, where they can just hang out, watch TV, sit and talk, drink coffee uh, in the mornings, 
all the windows that are here on the off camp super slide have the zebra shades. My dad wasn't crazy about it, but my mom liked them because of the way to adjust the light. Plus the curtains really kind of gave it that home feel. And as far as the kitchen goes, this is where my mom really kind of fell in love with the 29 TE. A, it has a pantry. <laughs> now they kind of fight because my dad will put the tackle boxes in there sometimes, but move the tackle box, get the box of Captain Crunch, you follow me when you're talking about that family vacation getaway. And for keeping stuff cold, they got the 12 volt fridge freezer combo, which is 10.7 cubic feet. My dad likes this because uh, it, it can run while going down the road because it's 12 volt. Uh, a lot of times with those gas absorption fridges, you can't. And they didn't like that in their first RV. Uh, 15K BTU AC, uh, they like that because it's ducted. Um, the speaker systems the grandkids like because when they're watching the movies, you can really pump the sound through. And having this subwoofer mounted in the ceiling really helps with that sound. So mom and dad, they don't really care, but the kids definitely do. Uh, and over here on the campsite is the kitchen space. Now, what's great about this, grandkids running around, <laughs> It's <laughs> sometimes you're a little cramped, but being in here, if you're prepping and doing stuff, the kids can run by, they're fine. Uh, you got press surface countertop with rounded corners. That's important because if you do have little kids or grandkids, as they're running through, if they got heads like mine, you can't control that thing when you get moving. A sharp corner, that's not fun to hit. So just a little bit better. Gunmetal sink, she really liked the bamboo cutting board as well as the drying rack. And then for cleaning fish, my dad loved these pants. Love that, they're just inserted. The sink is cool looking, it's gunmetal. You got the soap dispenser there, the sprayer faucet here, and the glass cleaner there. Talk about making things a lot easier when you're out camping, bam really does help out. Prep space, my dad gets to put the coffee machine over there. Got two GFSI outlets there. Uh, and my mom liked how this one, the 29TE, didn't have the glass. It has this kind of almost like basket look to it. It's really cool. <clears throat> you got good space up there. You got the three burner cooktop, the glass cover here. So, uh, and my mom likes doing breakfast, sausage, eggs, and pancakes. So having the three spaces there was great. My dad loves popcorn, also loves air frying stuff, and the 29TE came with an air fryer. So it was a good mix for both of them to be able to get what they wanted. Space for the trash can there. They liked how the drawers were deeper uh, because once again, my mom would put like utensils, stuff to cook with in there. My dad, fishing lures, <laughs> you know, remotes, whatever. So that was always kind of fun to deal with. Uh, and of course, over there, you'll see you got your ducted uh, furnace because this one does have a nice high output furnace and all the controls right there, running out the slide, running out the awning, as well as your AM FM command center. The thing that my dad really liked about this because he, he, he's an engineer. He liked being able to see where the voltage was here. He loves fixing stuff, uh, but having that easily accessed without having to go outside with a battery tester and hit the battery, was very nice for him. Lastly, they liked the U dinette over the booth dinette. The grandkids are a little smaller. So they can fit the grandkids right there, they're fine. But when it's just them, they have plenty of space in between themselves when they're sitting and eating and enjoying the meals. Um, great area for the crafts, great area for the dining, whatever. And you got storage space underneath. Uh, great for both of them because board games, crafts, or you know, my dad's stuff, uh, some of his fishing gear, his parkas, you know, the pullovers, the waders, uh, all that stuff he could kind of put here because mom yelled at him when he hung it in the wardrobe. HVAC controls were right there, but this is really the room that set the 29TE off for Nana and Pop, the bunk room. Some of the grandkids are smaller, some of the grandkids are bigger. When you're talking about trying to accommodate for all of those, having a separate bedroom, especially if the grandkids are teenagers, preteens, middle schoolers, they want their own space. You got storage spots here for their clothes, their games. You got a ladder if they are a little bit smaller and need to get up on these bunks, but you got room to sleep three in here with windows, skylight, as well as entertainment options, plus USB-C and USB-A giving the kids the option to charge stuff. Now, my dad took it on a fishing trip with his buddies. They love this room. 
because this single box can fit an adult, you know, plus you got the entertainment and charging. If they have, you know, Android device, iOS device, you got the options to charge it there. But the door, that's really what sold it. My mom and dad love the fact that the kids could have their privacy, they could have their privacy, but more importantly, their bedroom is on the opposite end of the RV. So if dad's sawing logs at night, kids won't hear it here. And my son snores too, so vice versa. All in all, 36 feet, eight inches, uh, 6,700 pounds, was right in the sweet spot for my dad's truck too. Um, just an overall good coach. But outdoorsy, I got something for you outside that I think you're gonna like there too, that they loved. So let's go see it. And probably the best part about that bunk room, since dad loves bringing the fishing poles, mom loves bringing the crafts and buckets. They got a spot to storm when they're in transit, which is great. Tempered glass door, solid steps, awesome safety features, and pretty cool features. That'll help keep the coach a little bit cooler. But look at this area right here. This is technically called an outside bar and kitchen. My dad just calls it the master outdoor kitchen spot. Storage space, double door driven fridge, ice maker, as well as a plumbed sink. Uh, and more storage here with that awesome kind of metal basket weave pattern inside. Uh, he really liked this feature because if he does fish or even if he's just prepping stuff, he can clean stuff here. And then he's got the oversized coated griddle, the gray stone here to do the cooking. Uh, <laughs> don't burn that burger, boy, don't press the meat. What are you doing? Leash latch for the dogs. You got the quick drop jacks, LP quick connect there. This is a double axle RV. And my, my dad liked how these had the low pressure caps, the tire pressure monitoring caps on them, letting him know where the tire pressure was. Once again, he was an engineer, loves working on stuff, loves fixing stuff. The 15 foot awning gave him great space. The reflective tint on the windows helps keep it cool when they wanna go down to the beach or go someplace hot. The speakers outside, of course, for the sound, Grandkids love the fact they can put the TV out here, get under the awning, eat the popcorn, put ice in their drink while Pop's making the burgers. I mean, they, you know, they love that. Uh, add the fact that this also has the armored underbelly underneath. <laughs> My dad really liked that because it keeps the critters out. But if he does need to get in there and check the tanks or something like that, he doesn't have to remove the whole thing. It's just one panel. Also has a black tank flush, so cleaning up was nice. Uh, and the separate entry point here is also that tempered glass window. But one of the things that they found pretty cool was the solar setup. My, my dad's not too well versed in it. You know, he, he's kind of old school, uh, but me and my sisters, you know, we kind of explained to him the benefits of having solar. So just having that option was nice for them and nice for us. Plus the power tongue jack and the quick drop jacks. You know, my dad's retired. He doesn't need to be down there manually doing that stuff. So this was also a nice feature for them to use. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery disconnect, good for them to be able to not drain it. Uh, the tankless water heater, the external shower with hot and cold uh, is also great because you got a chance to clean everything up. He loves spraying off his boots and his waders. Uh, and mom just loves coming out here and filling up the, the plants because for some reason she travels with them uh, and you know fills them up. Fresh water connection, city water connection, cable uh, and your dumps. Now your tanks on this one are 40 and 38, 38. So 40 gallon fresh, 38 gallon gray, 38 gallon black. And on the back, underneath that bunk area, it's what we call pop storage. Cause I mean, look, let's be honest. Mom's pretty much got everything on the inside. This is where Pop gets to put his tools, his fishing rods, you know, some of the stuff that when he's out here doing his thing, he can use. Uh, and it's nice because while she's doing the arts or crafts or doing whatever she wants to do inside, Pop's got his stuff for outside right here. So the, the flow and the features just kind of worked for what they were doing. 50 amp power plug here and the rack is great for taking the bikes. My dad even has got a little generator that he throws on there. So having this, another awesome feature. And of course, spare tire, he really liked that as well. Ladder prep, Bluetooth backup camera already on it. They also really enjoyed that as well. Hopefully you can kind of see why this RV, the 29 TE Gray Wolf by Cherokee became Nana and Pop's favorite RV. It's 36 feet, eight inches, 6,500 pounds dry, um, but can sleep eight easily. It just worked for what they were doing. And if you maybe have retired, empty nesting, 
got the kids in different states and you've been looking for something to go visit without A, having to worry about space, comfort, style, uh, breaking the bank or being anything too heavy, maybe the 29 TE is right up your alley. Or if you're saying, you know what? It, this sounds like my parents. Or, hey, we're getting ready to have a kid and we want the grandparents to come visit. This will be a great reason for them to do it. And we don't have to worry about accommodating additional space inside our house because we have our house that can go with us. The Cherokee Graywell 29TE might just check all the boxes. But if you're saying, Chris, you got anything that might be a little bit different, maybe a little bit smaller, you know what? I got one for you right there. Or if you look at this and you said, hey, uh, we don't have that many kids and they don't really have a big truck. Do you have maybe a bunkhouse RV that's like, like even smaller than that? You know what? I got one I think is a sweet spot for people looking to get their first RV. I'll link that video here too. But leave me some comments and let me know. What did you think about the 29TE? Nana and Pop, love it. Would your Nana and Pop love it? Or if you are Nana and Pop, <laughs> would you love it? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me some comments down below and please click like, subscribe, and notify us the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Hope you enjoyed my mama's favorite RV. I'll see you soon.